food is an essential part of our lives. We eat to sustain ourselves and to be in good health. For many of us, eating is also a source of joy, but not for everyone. Take Tony. He was allergic to eggs when he was a baby. Just licking a spoon with some egg on it would land him in hospital. Today, as an adult, he can eat a whole omelette without a problem. Zuzi is allergic to peanuts and becomes seriously ill if she eats just trace amounts. Her sister Anna is also allergic to peanuts, but she can eat a whole peanut and only display mild symptoms. People with the same food allergy may react differently. But what is a food allergy? It is a reaction of a person's immune system to a particular protein in a food. The immune system does not recognize the protein as a friend, but rather as an enemy. How does this work? When Susie ate peanuts for the first time, her immune system produce specific antibodies which attach themselves to immune cells. During this first exposure to peanuts, Zuzi did not experience any allergic reactions. But she was sensitized. You could say her immune system had been primed to react to peanut allergens. The next time Susie ate peanuts, her immune system went into high alert. Peanut allergens get attached to the specific antibodies in the immune cells. This triggers the release of chemical substances, like histamine, which causes various symptoms. This can be mild and affect only some parts of the body, or be systemic and much more severe even life-threatening, like an anaphylactic shock, for example. In Europe, about 1-3% to of the population suffer from food allergies. But which foods are allergenic? In fact, any kind of food containing proteins can be allergenic. Tony was lucky. Like many children with an allergy to eggs or milk, he outgrew his allergy when he got older. Other allergies are generally not outgrown. Susie, for instance, is likely to keep her peanut allergy all her life. What about treating food allergies? The best way to deal with them is to avoid the triggering foods. Clear information on food products and restaurant menus helps people with food allergies to avoid the offending foods. But many questions remain. Why are some people allergic to certain foods and others not? Why do people with the same food allergy react differently? And why do some people develop food allergies later in life? As scientists increase their understanding of allergic reactions to food, they are helping more and more people to manage their food allergies safely, enjoy their food and be in good health.